I left Yuma this morning and I was driving along and I really should do more research before I go to a place but this is what I came upon just on the highway it like you just drive through all these sand dunes I had no idea they were even here but it was really cool and a canal running alongside the highway as well my destination today was the Salton Sea I was going to be meeting friends there and uh, we were going to be camping at the northeast um, uh, part of the sea. So I thought while you're watching the road on the way there that I would tell you a couple things. One thing that really surprised me and I thought was really cool was that we were 228 feet below sea level. That's interesting to me. Um, another thing that was really interesting is when I was in high school I learned about the San Andreas Fault and on this drive as I'm driving here the San Andreas Fault is probably no more than one or two hundred feet away from the road most of the time I didn't even know it was there that'll teach me for not doing research before I head out on these trips because there's so many things that um, I'm probably missing and maybe finding out about after I get back Cover with these barnacles. I just want to add in here that at this point in my trip, I was still, I still had a broken solar panel, so I had no way to charge my batteries except for when I was driving, and so these friends that. Um, that I had met up with at the Salton Sea. Both of them have their own rigs and both of them have their own solar and they were trying to help me figure out what I was gonna do about um, trying to not fix my solar panel, but what I could do in the future, maybe attach solar panels to the roof. So they were up there just looking to see how we could um, hook up solar panels to the roof of my van. And here's what happened. Look at these guys just found roof racks on my van. <laughs> and they bend down like that. And this little nut slides down the slot so you can screw it in there. By the way, these are Mike and uh, Brian. And I met them at uh, Adventure Van Man's gathering last year. Say hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> hi. a couple of nights by the Salton Sea uh, we decided to go our separate ways some of us so I was actually with three friends at the Salton Sea one of my friends is camera shy and so she wouldn't be on um, in any of the videos but her and I decided to head up further north and go park at camp at um, Parker Arizona for wait a minute it's actually Parker okay Parker, Arizona is where we were headed, but we we're actually on the camping on the other side of the river, so we we're in California still. So anyways, this is sort of a bit of a, um, what the drive looked like on the way up to Parker. I just left the Salton Sea site that I stayed at for the last two nights, stayed with friends that I met in at Brian's Adventure Van Man's gathering last year uh, and now I'm following one of those friends up to Parker that's her with the trailer towing the trailer in front I think somebody told Christina about a shortcut so I think we're sort of doing the back roads through the farm country I don't know what they're harvesting there coconuts dates I don't know
this may not have been the smartest thing. It's four o'clock on a Friday night coming into Vegas. I hope it doesn't take too long to get through all of this. And I need gas quite badly, actually. I was just counting on pulling off out of Loves at one of the exits, but holy, it's so busy. Six o'clock in the morning. I'm at Alamo, or almost at Alamo, North Nevada. And I'm leaving for home today, so I'm gonna try and make it all the way, but we'll see how it goes. It's about 6.30 in the morning the next day, and I camped at a lake called Pananagrit. I'll put the spelling in there because I think I've said that wrong, but I stayed at a rest area which is actually across the highway from a campground, but the campground um, wasn't going to work for me. So, um, this is me heading back to Canada. Had that off the whole time. Gee.